The place is Tiger Stadium at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But as always, wherever the volunteers play, Tennessee fans are on hand to support Tennessee as it plays LSU. Undefeated, untied LSU, ranked in the top 20 of the nation. Tennessee coming in with a record of two wins and two losses. There you see referee Burleson visiting with the representatives of the two teams. Number seven is Alan Risher, the quarterback of LSU. Number 87, Daryl Wilson of the Volunteers. Tennessee wins the toss, and the Volunteers will receive. Kicking off will be Batanzos. Willie Galt will be drifting deep for Tennessee to receive the kick. So on the grass surface of Tiger Stadium at Baton Rouge on a hot and muggy evening, this game is underway. Galt, no, that will not be Galt. That's Thomas Jefferson who is in there as the kick is short. And Jefferson returns the football, giving Tennessee possession. First down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. Tennessee with Alan Cockrell at quarterback, three wide outs, Cockrell to pass. It is complete behind the line of scrimmage, pulled down there by Mike Miller. He moves forward for five yards to the 25, where he's tackled by Elko. Tennessee using three wide receivers, not a tight end at this time. Pitch goes to the tailback, nothing at all. Once again, it's Elko, the defensive left tackle at 278 pounds, making the stop on Johnny Jones. Cockrell, straight drop, pressure coming. Cockrell throws the pass downfield is incomplete. Skipping intended for Taylor. So into the game will be Jimmy Colquitt. The punt by Colquitt is away. High wobbly spiral. Backing up, this will be Dale of LSU. Making the grab at the 22, returns it to the 27-yard line. He's tackled at that point. Tigers on offense, back to throw Richer. Pass is complete to the tight end, and there, blocking him down is Lee Jenkins, then covering quickly will be Castile and Bates. LSU's Richer, bootleg left side, 40. Gets outside, 45, 50. Is knocked down as he carries into Tennessee territory at the 48-yard line by Carlton People. A second look at the senior quarterback, Alan Richer. Being pursued by Castile. Still running, Risher. There he is tackled by Peoples. And it's first down, 10 to go LSU. The Tigers ought to give to the fullback, Monts. He gets three yards before he's tackled by Terry. And it will be second down and seven. Pitch will come, Hilliard at the corner. Great speed. Tennessee plays it pretty well, but Hilliard is able to pick up enough for the first down. Bates makes the tackle, but the freshman Dalton Hilliard gives LSU first down, 10. Risher slipping and falling. The handoff goes to Hilliard, and he gains a couple of yards before he falls down. Second down, eight yards to go, and LSU takes too much time to get the play in motion, apparently. Could have been a lineman moving. We'll wait and see. It is illegal procedure. And so LSU will have the ball. Third down with Risher at quarterback. It's third and 13. Risher to throw. Richard looking. The pass downfield is intercepted. Mike Terry of Tennessee has intercepted the football, and the Volunteers stop the drive and take over. A second look. Richard fading to throw. Plenty of time. The pass, however, intercepted brilliantly as stepping in front of the tight end to Scott was Mike Terry, and Tennessee will have the ball first down and 10 to go. Ball at the 31-yard line of the Volunteers. Cockle pass complete on the outside. Dragging it in is Miller, and Miller skips forward for right at nine yards. It'll be second down a yard to go. Nothing to nothing to score. Hand off Coleman. Hole right side. First down to the 45, on to the 50-yard line before he's tackled. Chuck Coleman. Hand off. There you see the replay. Had the room with the blocking up front. Just tripped up as he goes to midfield. Tennessee first down. Cockrell to throw. Pass across the middle is complete. High into the air to pull it down. Is Wilson. A second look. Cockrell throwing and Daryl Wilson on a slant route. Pulls it down. Makes a nice move there and picks up 12 yards. And Tennessee will have it first down and 10 at the LSU 38-yard line. 
Handoff Coleman again. Same spot. Gets room. Carries the ball down inside the 30-yard line. He tackled at the LSU 29 by Joyner. And that will leave it second down a yard to go. Tennessee moving with the football. Nothing to nothing to score. First period of the game at Baton Rouge. LSU with a four-man front. Tennessee, three wide outs. Cockwell checking off of the line of scrimmage. Hand off Coleman. I think he got the first down. Pounding at right tackle. It will be first down, 10 to go Tennessee at the LSU 28-yard line. Once more, Tennessee to the line. The ball on the right hash mark. Golf to the right. To the left side, Taylor and Miller. Back to throw Cockwell. Instead, pitches Coleman around the corner. Carries the ball past the 25-yard line. His tackle as he moves to the 23. Ball down to the 23. Second down, five to go for the first down in a scoreless game. Cockwell again to Coleman. Not much, but he scraps and fights and drives the ball for a couple. Down to the 21-yard line, at which point it will be for Tennessee third down and three. Capacity crowd on hand. Back to throw will be Cockwell on the option. Pass downfield to Galt is incomplete off his fingertips. Willie Galt unable to hold on to a pass, slightly overthrown. And so on fourth down and three yards to go into the football game to attempt a 38-yard field goal will be sophomore Fuad Reves. Holding his Warren, the kick is up. The kick by Reves is good. Tennessee leads LSU by a score of three to nothing after the field goal by Fuad Reves. The drive goes 48 yards in nine plays and consumes three minutes, 50 seconds. And here will be Reves kicking off and he drives it deep all the way beyond the end zone. So LSU has the ball first down and 10 to go. The Tigers at the 20 yard line. Richard gets some pressure and he's going to be dumped. And that was 93, Mike Kofer. Sacking him for minus two. A second look at the defensive play by Kofer. Risher looking. Nobody open. And here comes Kofer, and he makes the stop. Minus two. It will be second down 12. Handoff. Left side. Big hole. Carrying the ball. Miles out to the 20. To the 25. He's tackled as he gets to the 27-yard line. Fine effort. And it will be third down. Tennessee with a six-man line. Man in motion for LSU. The Volunteers putting pressure on, ripping a pass downfield. It was Richer having to hurry the pass as Tennessee got a good rush on the passer, and the pass is incomplete, and it will become fourth down. So here is Parker in the punt for LSU. Tennessee with a seven-man rush. Galt standing deep. Punt is away. Galt for Tennessee under the ball at the 29. Galt to the 30. Galt runs into his own blocker actually slowing him down as he makes his cut. Gets the ball back to the 35 where Tennessee will have it first down and 10. Again the Volunteers with three wide. It's about again to pass. This is Cockrell. The pass is complete. Pulled down in a crowd by Daryl Wilson. Excellent effort by Wilson. A second look as Cockrell fades to throw. Through the middle comes Wilson. There you see he's pretty well contained, but he grabs the ball and picks up 13 yards on the play. First and 10. Again, it's Cockle. Passing. Complete. Taylor, 45. Taylor, 40. Taylor carries the ball to the 37-yard line of LSU, and the balls are on the move yet another time. There's the pass in the second look to Taylor. Nice move there on Britt. And Taylor is finally pulled down by the linebacker trailing Richardson. It will be first down 10 at the 37-yard line. Tennessee leading 3-0 over LSU. First period of the football game as Cockwell drops to throw. Pass across the middle, complete. Pulled down by Darrell Wilson again. As Cockwell just stood and ripped the ball downfield to Wilson for a first down. The ball's three straight first downs on plays of 13, 15, 12 yards. It's first and 10 at the 25. Hand off Morris. Morris up the middle, dies for a couple of yards. Down to the 23 as the first period comes to a close. The score at the end of one is Tennessee 3, LSU nothing. Now the Volunteers will be moving toward the south end of the football field. Cockwall on a handoff to tailback Morris. He gets a couple to the 21-yard line. The ball's again splitting the running backs. Cockwell fading the throw. 
being pressured. Cockrell running out of the pocket, and he runs downfield and dives out of bounds as he gets the ball to the 21-yard line, the line of scrimmage. So on fourth down once more, here comes Fuad Reves in to attempt the field goal. It will be, again, a 38-yard attempt. The kick by Reves is good. And so, Tennessee leads LSU by a score of six to nothing. Heavily favored LSU falling behind after two field goals by Fuad Reves. The kick by Reves once more goes all the way through the end zone. And once more, LSU puts the ball in play first down and 10 to go at its 20-yard line. Richer at quarterback. Man in motion, Malencone. Handoff will go to Hilliard. Starts right, gets a little running room, and squeaks through for a pickup of two yards. Second down, eight yards to go. Tennessee coming with a safety blitz from the near side. Hilliard runs away from the blitz and circles the right side of the line and moves the ball past the 25-yard line. Out to the 27, where it will be third down and three. Pitch will come to Hilliard, racing to the near side. And he is tackled before he gets to the 30 by Bill Pates. Tennessee pursuing well. Here's the pitch to Hilliard. Out front blocking was Miles, but there you see breaking through Bill Bates to make the stop short of the first down, so in the punt will be Parker. The punt by Parker is away. Spiral backing Galt up, pulls it down at the 25. A little walk, makes a move to the 30, Galt to the 35, Galt to the 40, 45, 50. 45, 40. Gall carries the ball inside the LSU 35-yard line before he shoved out of bounds. A second look at the speedster, orange lightning personified Willie Gall, making that move right there at the 25, then the cut, then he sweeps free. Up to the 40, to the 45. Blockers out in front. That's 19 Carlton Peoples trying to clear the path. And Gall returns the punt. 43 yards, and Tennessee has it at the 32-yard line. Alan Cockrell, play action, being blitzed. Here's the pass downfield, complete. Willie Galt with the reception, 13 yards. It's first down. A second look, and you'll see number 53, Streno, blocking the blitzer right there, allowing Cockrell the time to throw to Galt. Tennessee has the ball at the 19-yard line of LSU. Cockrell with two wideouts right, one to the left. Handoff goes to the left halfback this time, and this is Chuck Coleman. And Coleman through the left side of the line. Carries for three, four, five, six yards. Down to the 13 at second and four. Second down four. Again, it's Coleman, and this time he lunges for a couple of yards to the 11-yard line. It will be third down and two. Cockrell has the orange and white Shakers in the background indicate that the Tennessee fans are at this end of the football field. Cockrell on the option will keep, will dive, and it will be close. Alan Cockrell carries the football. It is first down and goal to go for Tennessee. Cockrell at quarterback, surveying the defense. Tennessee leading six to nothing. Cockrell dropping the throw. Pass across the middle is intercepted. LSU at the goal line. Back to the five. Out to the 10, to the 15, carrying that football, and the interception was hobbling. A second look. Cockrell throwing for Wilson, just one step too far in front. And Hobley, playing it perfectly, jumps in to intercept. And returns the football upfield, giving LSU possession and stopping the Tennessee drive. So here are the Tigers, trailing six to nothing. First down, 10 at the Tiger 13-yard line. Alan Richard, handoff with the ball, James 15, James 20, James 25, James to the 26-yard line, where LSU picks it up first down and 10 to go. Now LSU sends a man in motion left to right. Handoff goes to James again, stutter stepping through the right side of the line, and the freshman tailback Carries the ball for a gain of five out to the 32-yard line. Second down, five yards to go. Again, that man in motion, Fontenot. Give this time is the fullback, and Montz plunges at right guard for two yards to the 34. It's third down and three. 
Here's Risher fading back to throw. Looking. He's going to run with the football. Risher has room. Risher carries for the first down. Risher moves the ball to the 41 yard line, and LSU has it first down, 10 to go. Trailing six to nothing. This is Risher. Back to throw. Risher pass downfield is complete. That's Martin with the ball. He pulls it down at the 50 to the 45. It's tackled as he moves the ball to the Tennessee 43 yard line. First down 10, LSU trailing six to nothing, but moving with the ball after the pass interception at the Tiger goal line. Handoff. Carrying the ball through the left side of the line, inside the volunteer 40 yard line, comes fullback Monks. He's tackled by Bates after he gets five yards. So it's Risher back to throw once more. Waiting, looking, will run with the football again, and Risher up the middle carries it. He's hit and hit hard by 93 Mike Cooper, 51 Reggie McKenzie. A second look at the poised senior quarterback Risher. His receiver's covered. The corridor opens up up the middle. And here he comes racing through, 85 Terry, 93 Gopher, 51 McKenzie. It will be first down and 10 for LSU. Carrying the football to the left side. For LSU comes James for five yards this time. It'll be second and five at the volunteer 27-yard line. Again, Risher back to throw. The pass. It is complete. Taken by James. And James for the Tigers carries the ball to the Volunteers. 16 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Tennessee with the stunt. Fumble, ball, scrambling free. And on top of it for Tennessee is Castile. But I think that Tennessee might have been offsides. Referee Burleson will be discussing. Yes, it is offsides Tennessee on that blitz, nullifying the fumble recovery and making it first down and five to go. Moving it down to the volunteer 11 yard line. Tennessee six, LSU nothing. The Tigers with the ball. Handoff, James going to the corner, looking for room. There's Lee Jenkins making the stop after a gain of two yards. Second down, three to go. The LSU Tigers. The Tennessee Volunteers. 45 is Xander, the linebacker. Quarterback is Risher. There's the man in motion. Here's the pitch. Driving fumble. Recovered by Tennessee. Lee Jenkins. A second look as James has the ball. He's hit right there and loses the ball. Xander made the hit, and Jenkins is in perfect position for the recovery. So Tennessee stops the drive, and the Volunteers take over at the Volunteer seven-yard line. Cockrell, handoff, Alvin Tolles, and he doesn't have much. The right side of the LSU defense is there. So there's really no gain on the play. It'll be second down, 10 yards to go. Tennessee six, LSU nothing. Cockrell, handoff again to Tolles, and he is just overpowered. Mallet going the first man there. So it's third down, 10 yards to go. Cockrell for Tennessee. Fading to throw, slips, falls right at the goal line. The ball is marked at the one yard strike. Cockrell slips and falls and the LSU students coming alive as their team has Tennessee backed up, and there is Jimmy Colquitt standing, as you see, a foot inside the end line. The punt by Colquitt. Oh, a high, long spiral. Backing up will be Dale, making the catch, looking for running room. Tennessee covers well, as downfield it was Smith. And so LSU has the ball. Richer back to throw, pass downfield. Complete Martin with the ball. The Tigers come right back. On the first down pass from Risher to Martin to the Tennessee 24-yard line, it's first down LSU. Trailing six to nothing, Risher, quarterback draw, Risher 25, 20, out to the 15, Risher to the 10, Risher to the five, Risher scores for LSU. The quarterback draw set up beautifully by Risher. Nice move there by the quarterback block on the corner by Scott the tight end and here is Risher into the end zone to score and the Tigers have tied the game in to attempt the extra point will be Batanzos the kick is up and the kick is 
good. LSU leads Tennessee by a score of seven to six. Kicking off will be the Tigers. And again, they hit it short. Patanzos with an up back, pulling it down at the 24, 25. That's Coleman out to the 35-yard line where he is swarmed by the Tigers. So Tennessee will have the ball. First down, 10 to go. Trailing for the first time of the game. It's 7-6. to six. Cockrell, pitch with the ball. Jones, Jones through the left side. Oh, is he hit? He moves forward for four before he is belted by Malincone. And it will be second down. LSU with a three-man rush. Two linebackers standing two yards deep. Cockrell rolling to the near side. Drops a pass. It is intercepted at the 45-yard line. Britt, 40. Britt, 35. Works his way free. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, LSU. A second look as Cockrell is looping a pass intended for Coleman. It is overthrown, and Britt makes the interception. Slowed by Malincone. Tennessee unable to get position to make the stop, and Britt puts a great move on there, and here he comes. Down to the 20. Racing all the way into the end zone, and the Tigers build their lead to 13-6. to six. In to attempt the extra point is Malincone, and, excuse me, is Batanzos. It's up, and it is good. And so, LSU, one minute and one second ago, trailing six to nothing, now leads 14 to six. The Tigers will be kicking off. It comes to Willie Galt at the five. Galt to the 10, 15, wedge opens up 20, 25, 30, Galt comes open, 50, one minute to beat, he beats it, 35, 30, 25, 20, Galt goes all the way, touchdown, Tennessee. A second look from the sideline. LSU had been penalized back to the 30-yard line for the kickoff. Galt, the old you see the hole opened up. Galt turns on the speed and just simply outraces everybody to go into the end zone to score. And the Volunteers pull to within two, a third look at Willie Galt. You see the three men opening up the wedge for him up the middle. He cracks through the initial line of defenders, has one man to beat and just races past him. The defender had about five yards on Galt, but Galt with that electrifying speed races into the end zone, and now Tennessee trails 14 to 12. The Volunteers elect to go for two, trying to tie. Miller comes wide to the right side. Cockrell, Miller now man in motion back to the interior. Here's the pass, it is complete. Two points, Tennessee. Randall Morris. A second look as Cockrell throws to a wide open Randall Morris and Morris scampers into the end zone to give Tennessee a tie at 14-14 with 1.31 to go in the first half of the game. It will be Reves to kick off. Bounding kick picked up of the one by Martin. 5, 10, 15, 20, down he goes at the 22 yard line. So, Tennessee and LSU locked at a 14-14 tie. Delay handoff, running room, cutting up the middle. This will be Mons. Mons carries the ball out to the 31-yard line. Third down and one. LSU wanting to get in position for a field goal and carrying the ball forward as much. They've got a long way to go, but this will be enough for the first down. At the 34-yard line. Tennessee 14, LSU 14. From the sideline, Alan Risher, the quarterback. Good protection. Pass is complete. Taken here by Hilliard. Hilliard carries the ball forward for a gain of 11 yards. Moving it out to the Tiger 34-yard line. Seriously out to the 45. Now Risher again back to throw. A little pressure this time. Risher throwing as he's hit. The pass downfield is complete. Excellent, excellent effort by Risher who threw the ball as he was being tackled, and now LSU is moving into field goal range. Again, Risher back to throw. Rips the pass. It's complete. Taken by Heard. He moves inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And LSU on second down with seconds remaining will be trying for a tie-breaking field goal of 46 yards in length by Batanzos. The kick by Batanzos is in the air. The kick is... Good! And so, 
LSU leads Tennessee at the end of the first half by a score of 17 to 14. The second half set to get underway. LSU has the option, elects to receive, and so Reves will be kicking off. An exciting football game. Tennessee led 3-0, 6-0, then trailed 7-6, 14-6, tied it at 14-14, now it's 17-14 LSU. Kickoff, Martin, three yards deep, brings it out to the 5, 10, running room 15, 20, 25, 30. It's Martin, 40, 45, 50, one man to get him. Jenkins makes the stop at the, Ella, at the Tennessee 35-yard line. The second look is Eric Martin. Good blocking right there. Turns on the speed, and he's got some. And it's all up to the kickoff safety man, Lee Jenkins of Tennessee, getting in position, making the stop. So LSU with the football. Through the right side of the line is Hilliard. Hilliard gets right at three yards. It'll be second down and seven. LSU at the Tennessee 31. Back to throw Richard. Pass is complete. Pulled down by Hilliard, and Hilliard moves on down to the 20-yard line. And it will be at that point, first down. And off Hilliard. Pounding the right side, moves for two to the 17-yard line. Second down eight. Hilliard again. Moving, slashing, driving, cutting. Gets three yards to the 14-yard line. Third down, a short four yards to go. LSU leading 17-14. Risher with the ball. Tennessee in a six-man front. Hand off Hilliard. Hilliard bump, gets outside, sweeps down to the 10-yard line. It will be fourth down and a foot to go. The Tigers to the line. Tennessee digging in. They're going to try for a first down on fourth down. Richard sneaks. I don't know. It appears that he might have moved the ball enough. But as they line it up, it is going to be short. Tennessee has stopped LSU. A second look. As Richard, following the surge, made a little, was shoved back. And the mark of the ball is short of the first down. So Tennessee has the ball. First down, 10. Quarterback Cockle. Handoff, Tolls. Tolls pounds at right guard. Gets a yard. Second down, nine yards to go. Tennessee trailing 17-14 against a four-man LSU front in the third period. Pitch will go. Cutting through, knifing back. This will be Randall Morris. He falls for what appears to be a first down at the 21-yard line, but there is a penalty marker down, and Tennessee will sustain a penalty. The balls are penalized for holding half the distance to the goal. Cockrell on a delay, hands to Tolles, and Tolles gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Third down at the Volunteer 5. Tennessee again running, wedging forward, carrying the football is Coleman. He moves it out close to the 10-yard line and into the game for Tennessee, punting once more from his end zone is Jimmy Colvin. Snap, punt by Colvin. Oh, he hits another tremendous punt. Here's Dale backing up all the way to his 25-yard line to pull it down. Looking for running room, doesn't have any, and he's buried. The punt is good for 65 yards, the return for two. LSU first and 10 at the 27. With the ball, James cuts left, drives forward, moves the ball for a gain of eight yards on the play. It'll be second down, two yards to go. Tennessee in a four-man front. James with the ball, slips and falls, and is pinned by Castillo. That will be short of a first by a yard. Third down, one to go. And LSU trying for the first down. And once more, James is stopped. They line it up. I believe it's going to be a bit short of the first down and is. So here's Parker to punt. 17-14, LSU leading. Tennessee with an eight-man rush this time. Now they drop off into a seven-man rush as Galt is deep. The snap, Parker gets the punt away and... I'm not so sure that somebody didn't get a handle of the ball. Anyway, it's taken out a fair catch by Willie Galt at the Tennessee 22-yard line. The balls will have it, trailing 17 to 14 in the third period. Morris at tailback, tolls the fullback. The quarterback is Cockrell, pitching the ball to Randall Morris. And Morris carries at left tackle for three. It's second down seven. Cockrell off play action, back to throw. Looking the pass. It's complete. Taken by Darrell Wilson, who is spun down immediately at the 30-yard line. 
where Tennessee will have the ball third down and two. Back to throw. Cock pass is complete. It's Wilson and Tennessee I think has a first down. A second look at the pass from Alan Cockrell to Darrell Wilson in the middle. There you see it picked off by Darrell Wilson and the ball's on the 13 yard gate. Have it first down and 10 at the 43 yard line. The give is to Coleman who's in a tailback and Coleman is wrapped up and shoved back downfield for no gain. First man there Marshall the tackle second down 10. Cockrell back to throw the blitz. He's hit just as he releases the pass. It is incomplete intended for Furness the fullback. As LSU blitzing with the safety man Dale really got to Cockrell. Third down for Genesee. Cockrell back to throw. Waiting, throwing across the middle. The pass is incomplete intended for Taylor. No marker on the play. Taylor thinks that he might have been hit before the ball got there. Let's take a second look. Cockrell throwing the football. And there you will see that Taylor is being tackled by the defender before the ball got there. No whistle. And so into the game comes Colquitt to punt. High punt. LSU with Dale. He's going to handle the ball at the 10. Fumbles it out of bounds at the 8-yard line. So LSU has the ball as the give comes to James. And James comes forward for a gain of 2 yards as the third period comes to a close. At the end of 3, the score remains as it was at halftime. LSU 17, Tennessee 14. In the final period, the Tigers will be moving toward the north end of the football field as they break from the huddle and come to the line. Alan Risher, the quarterback, he's gone all the way. Tennessee with a five-man front. Risher back to throw. Nice protection. Pass downfield is complete. Once again, it's Martin. Eric Martin on the pass from Risher. It's 18 yards on the gain. It's first down 10 at the Tiger 43-yard line. Two flankers left. Tennessee with a six-man line. Feigning the blitz. Here it comes. The blitz is on. The pass is released. The pass is dropped. James had it. Juggle the football as he was thinking about coming open to run. Fumbles it down incomplete. It will be second down and ten. Tennessee again jumping in and out defensively. Risher back to throw. Risher pass downfield. It is complete. What a catch by Martin. Tremendous catch by Martin. What a game he's having. Risher a bit high with the pass, but Martin skies to pull it down. And LSU on the 18-yard gain has it first and 10 at the Volunteer 39. The pitch will come with the football. James looking for running room. Tennessee stringing it out, and there's Kozart to roll him out of bounds. Excellent pursuit by Kozart. Gain of three on the play. It will be second down and seven. Once more, Richard to throw. Looking for Martin. The pass is complete. Martin again on the receiving end of an 18-yard pass. LSU first and 10 at the Volunteer 18-yard line. Man in motion will be Fontenot. The give is to James. James Stiffarm looks for the corner. He's at the 20. He moves the ball to the 15. Shoved out of bounds. Great speed to the outside by James. Second down four at the 12. LSU sends the man in motion to the near side. They run behind the motion. Cutting inside Hilliard. 5-4 down to the three-yard line. Beautiful cutback by Hilliard. A second look at this freshman tailback. Behind Miles now slides inside. Turns it on. Is tackled by Cozart and McKenzie. And it will be first down and goal to go for LSU. The Tigers leading 17-14. to They're in the eye formation. Here is Hilliard. Hilliard scores for the Tigers. So LSU enjoys its biggest lead of the football game. It's now 23 to 14, and the extra point is up, and it is good. And LSU leads Tennessee by a score of 24 to 14 in the fourth period of the game. The Tigers will be kicking off. Matanzos. Hits it high and short. Coleman for Tennessee at the 25, 30. Coleman out to the 33, 34-yard line. He's tackled as they spot the ball at the 33. First down, 10 to go, Tennessee. 
The ball's trailed by 10. Cockrell to throw. Pass complete behind the line. Pulled down by Johnny Jones. He moves it on past the 35-yard line to the 37. A second look at this four-yard screen pass game. There's the pass by Cockrell. There's Jones being pursued by LSU. And the tackle is made by Darter. It will be second down and six. Cockrell, straight drop, pressure across the middle, complete. Pulling it down, there will be Tennessee's tight end, Kenny Jones. And Jones moves forward. What a first down. Second look. Jones has not played that much in this game because Tennessee basically has gone with three wide receivers. The tight end is there on the right side. Back to throw Cockrell. Looking again for Jones. Complete. Jones has wrestled down after moving the ball close to midfield. The ball will be spotted at the 49-yard line. Cockrell back to throw. Waiting, looking, pass across the middle. Intercepted LSU, 37. And pulling the ball down was Jeffrey Dale. He returns to the 48-yard line. Cockrell. Again, passing into the middle, and this time he's just a bit high, or perhaps short. Could have been intended for Galt. It was intercepted by Dale, and the tackle is made by Galt. So it's first down 10. LSU trying to add to its lead. Risher being harassed and tackled. 92 is Reggie White. A second look as Tennessee gets the pressure on Risher. Going for the knockout punch. Johnny Williams is there to slow him, and then here's Reggie White. Minus four on the play. It'll be second down and 14. Risher on a draw. Hands off Mons. Mons running room, 45. Mons is spun out of bounds. And a penalty marker is dropped. Penalty marker drop. Let's watch it here. As McKenzie, and it's a face mask. There's the indication for the referee. Face mask, inadvertent, five-yard penalty. And it will become second down and six yards to go LSU. Risher again dropping to throw. Gets some pressure. Fumbles the ball. Recovered Tennessee. That, I think, will be a fumble, although it is caught in midair by Mike Kofer. Risher. The ball just slips out of his hands. And Kofer alertly dives and picks it off, and Tennessee has the football. Tennessee on the recovery. Finds Cockrell passing downfield. It is complete. Willie Gold makes the catch as he jumps in front of the defender. And it will be a second look at this pass play from Cockrell to Willie Galt. There's the throw. And there you see Galt coming back to make the catch and giving Tennessee a first down. First down and 10 for Tennessee, trailing 24 to 14 in the fourth period at Baton Rouge. Cockrell, penalty marker down. Pass downfield is complete to the 15-yard line. It was Darrell Wilson, but a marker, as we mentioned, is down, and Tennessee is going to draw another penalty. This one's for backfield in motion. That nullifies the gain. Cockrell, play action again. Back to throw. The pass downfield is complete. Pull down here by Coleman. He's tackled, and then... Let's see what the call is going to be. A penalty marker is down, and referee Burleson is discussing the call with the linesman. Offsides, LSU, personal foul, LSU. And LSU draws the five-yard penalty, and since the personal foul was a dead ball situation, half the distance to the goal. Tennessee has the whole first down. Ball at the 13-yard line. Give Jones. Jones right side gets one yard. That's about it. Moving it from the 13 to the 12, it will be second down and nine. Pass complete. Miller pulls it down and then is spun down on a vicious stop. After a gain of three, that was Britt on the tackle. Third down and six. LSU 24, Tennessee 14. Final period of this football game. Cockrell, his team in the I formation. Flankers two to the right. Pumps, looks to throw. Nobody open, being pressured. Cockrell running out of the pocket, looks into the end zone. Pass, touchdown, Darrell Wilson. A second look as the scrambling Cockrell rolls to the right side and catches a glimpse of the darting Wilson along the end line, right on target with the touchdown pass. And Tennessee closes the gap to 24 to 20. 
Here's the extra point attempt by Raves. It is up and it is good. So, with three minutes, 18 seconds left to go, LSU will be receiving the kickoff. Actually, six minutes. That drive took three minutes, 18 seconds. Here's the kick coming up field with the football. This will be Martin. Martin again returning the football forward for LSU. Martin returns it out to the 33-yard line where the Tigers will have it. First down, Tennessee jumping around on defense. Give us to Hillier. Hillier for the Tigers. Sweeps to the left side of the line. There's 19 Carrollton Peoples up to make the stop on him. Really little on the play, but enough for the first down on a 10-yard scamper by Hillier. First and 10 LSU after the 10-yard gain to the 43-yard line. Man in motion, Tennessee with a blitz. With the ball, Risher on the reverse to the near side, 45-50. Risher steps out of bounds as he moves down to the 46-yard line of Tennessee. Again, LSU in the I formation. The pitch and Tennessee is there this time. The pitch went to Hilliard. And the man for Tennessee, 19, Carlton Peoples, plugging the gap. There you see the hit by Peoples. And LSU will have it second down and 11 after a loss on the play of a yard. Hand off Monts. Monts up the middle, grinds out three yards, maybe four. Closer to three, making it third down eight. Tennessee trailing by three, 24 to 21. Fourth period of the game. The ball's with the blitz. Back to throw Risher. Risher pass downfield is complete. That's Martin again. First and 10. LSU with the ball. Hilliard sweeping the right side. Tennessee pursuing 85 Terry, 40 is Bates. And also there is 93 Mike Cofer. Gain of two, second and eight. LSU seven, uh, leading Tennessee by three points. Hand off Monts, pounds the middle, hit by Kludes, little if any gain on the play. It'll be third down and eight. Hilliard, left side, thrown down by Cofer. Short of the first down. A second look. Hilliard, and filling is Cofer. There's White also, and here to attempt the field goal, 41 yards in length will be Batanzos. The kick by Batanzos is up. The kick is no good. So Tennessee will take over, trailing by three. Ball at the Volunteer 25-yard line. Cockrell for the balls against a three-man LSU rush. Play action, back to throw, looking, waiting, the pass downfield. It is complete, Mike Miller. Miller for Tennessee, carrying the ball downfield to the LSU 45-yard line. A second look as Cockwell is right on target with this pass to Mike Miller at the 45. Miller to midfield. Miller moves the ball all the way down to the LSU 45-yard line. Tennessee has it first down. LSU 24, Tennessee 21. Ball at the LSU 45-yard line. Cockwell, his team in the eye. Play action, looking to throw, waiting. Pass is complete, taken by Wilson, and Wilson is forced out of bounds as he moves down to the LSU 35. That's enough for a first down. So Tennessee trailing at one point by 10 points as Cockwell releases the pass, and it is swatted down. Broken up by Richardson, pass incomplete. It will be second and 10 at the 35. Cockrell again, back to throw. Pass downfield for Miller, it is broken up. Excellent defensive play by Britt. A second look at this defensive effort by Britt as the pass for Miller is incomplete and Britt coming through Miller for the ball, knocks it down. Tennessee, Cockrell looking to throw, being pressured, pass to Jones is incomplete. And so it'll be fourth down. So into the football game comes Fouad Ravay, Tennessee trailing by three. This will be a 52-yard field goal attempt. The kick by Ravay's is in the air. The kick by Ravay's is good. Tennessee ties the score on a 52-yard field goal by Fouad Ravay's. 2.07 left to go in this contest. LSU 24, Tennessee 24. Kicking off is Ravay's. Here's the kick. It goes all the way through the end zone, as you see. And so the Tigers now tied in this game at 24-24. First and 10 at the 20. Risher back to throw will run. 
Risher with the football, moving forward, carries the ball out to the 32-yard line, and the Tigers will have it first down and 10. LSU now with less than two minutes to go, trying to get once more into position for a field goal. The pass is complete. Pulled down by Hilliard at the 35, spins to the 36-yard line, where it will be second down and six. Risher facing a blitz. Pass complete, Big Scott, the tight end. And it's another first down for LSU. The Tigers with the football. First down, 10 to go. 24 to 24 the score, that gain for 12. Risher again dropping to throw. Gets some pressure, pumps, here's the pass downfield. Intercepted Tennessee, Carlton Peebles. Peebles returning the ball for the Volunteers. Dives it back to the LSU 44 yard line. And Tennessee will have possession. A second look as you see Tennessee with hands up. Forcing the pump, and now the pass is intercepted by Peoples. 40. Out to the Tennessee 45 to midfield. Peoples carries the ball down to the LSU 44 yard line where he's tackled. Tennessee with the ball. Seconds ticking away. Final period of this football game. Cockrell back to throw. Cockrell waiting. The pass downfield is incomplete. Intended for golf. Broken up by Daniel. Second down, 10 to go. Less than 30 seconds to go in the football game. Cockrell for the Volunteers. Play action again. Looking to throw. Waiting. Will have to run with the football, and he's tackled as he gets back to the line of skipping. Tennessee uses a timeout. The Vols have one timeout remaining. To the line they come with Cockrell at quarterback. Three wide outs in the football game. Cockrell. Waiting, looking, the pass complete. Furnace pulls it down. Furnace scrambling, driving, finding. I don't think he got a first down. He got to the 35-yard line. Seven seconds to go, and Fuad Raves, who moments ago got Tennessee into a tie with a 52-yard field goal, will be attempting another one. Snap down. The kick by Raves is in the air. The kick by Raves is short. It is no good. So LSU with two seconds to go in the football game. Final try, Risher waiting the long pass downfield. Tennessee's Peoples intercepts, slips and falls as the football game comes to a close. Tremendous college football game at Baton Rouge. It ends in a tie. Tennessee 24, LSU 24. Many big plays in the game, one of those being the 95-yard touchdown return by Willie Gaw. Congratulations, Willie. Well, thanks a lot, Bob. It was, um, really, it was just a hole wide open there. The, the line really blocked great. The, the offensive line up front, the, the up backs, B.B. Cooper, uh, just all, all the guys just really did it. And it was about time we broke one this year, and I was just really happy to see that, and I just thank God for it. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been waiting to do that all year, haven't you? Oh, yeah, it's like a dream come true now. I, it, it's a breakthrough for me. I, I've, I've got the first one this year. I'm, I'm ready for more. I almost broke a punch, so... Tennessee, this team, we, we really came around and bounced around th this game. And, you know, it's just, it's just uh, things are new to come. And next week, we got Alabama. And, you know, we just fired up. We had a chance to win the game and a lot of big plays. And, you know, I just want to say congratulations to each and every one of the players. Many big plays on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Tennessee defensively got a couple of big ones. And one of those, an interception by Mike Terry. Congratulations on the interception. Tell us how it happened. Well, first of all, I just want to say praise God for the interception. Uh, it seemed, we seem to be in a cover four route, and uh, they threw the ball in the curl area, and I just picked it off. You guys gave Risher trouble all night. It seemed like you were adjusting right when he's getting ready to audible, and it just confused him. I think we prepared well for this game, and uh, we prepared for Risher uh, all the way off, and uh, the defense kind of came around. No surprises from him tonight. It seemed like you guys were ready for everything. We hope to keep improving, Bob. Um, just, we, think, we think that we can still make a season out of it, and that's what we hope to do. It's Kurt Singer with us. Kurt, the offensive line might have grown up a little bit tonight. I think everybody grew up a little bit tonight. I think the whole team grew up a little bit tonight. Everybody did a hell of a job. We, it's, it's, a, it's a tie game. It would have been better, nicer to win, but I'm happy to leave here with the tie. You guys gave Conco a good enough protection to win it. I think we gave Allen protection, and Allen took advantage of it, and he completed a lot of passes. Let's talk about the confidence factor of a game like this against a team that's ranked 18th in the country and a playing on their hostile field. I don't know what it was today, but all it was was the whole team came together, and we played the way we can play and the way we should play. And if we can continue this, which I think we can, it'll be a pretty good season. Another member of the defensive unit who was a valuable asset for the Volunteers, Mike Castile. Mike, tell us about the defensive effort. 
the de defensive effort was outstanding. I mean, it was a, a whole team effort, and uh, without a team effort, we couldn't even come as close as we did winning. The Baton Rouge paper was talking about the Tennessee defense and how LSU ought to be able to move up and down the field against it. Did you guys read that? Was that in the back of your mind? Uh, I never saw it, but uh, defense, you know, has had to make some improvement, and we have made improvement. We've come a long ways, and we're going to keep building on that through the rest of the season. Tennessee seemed more, more aggressive defensively. We had to be more aggressive. They got two very fine backs and a good quarterback, and uh, we were outmanned, I mean, outweighed across the front line, and we knew we had to be aggressive to even have a chance. And it was a hard-hitting Tennessee defense. Yes, very hard-hitting. It was a hot and muggy night in Baton Rouge, but a good one for Tennessee. This is Bob Kessling reporting from Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge.